All right, so we're gonna be setting up for the deadlift, which is a progression of the Romanian deadlift. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go back and watch that one first. But now we've got some plates on the ground so we can set the bar up from our shin height. So we're gonna walk up to the bar uh, with either a little gap or almost touching the bar with our shins. And we've got our feet directly below our hips, slightly closer than a squat stance. We're gonna reach down and grab the bar in our universal clean grip. So just outside our shins. And you'll see here, his knees are sort of pressing in against his eye of the elbow, um, driving the knees out so we can activate the, uh, the glutes. And you can see that he's got his shoulders above his hips and his hips above his knees, making that nice little triangle there to set up with. So his armpits are directly above the bar. His knees are trying to drive back enough that he can feel his hamstrings, but not too much that his bum raises. So show me your bum raise. We want to make sure we get a, that perfectly right. So driving the knees forward. And a good way to tell that is you can see his knees aren't traveling too far in front of his arms, like a squat deadlift. So a poor deadlift would be letting his knees come too far forward. You need to be right in the middle there, making that perfect triangle. So shoulders above hips, hips above knees, knees driving into the inside of the elbow, making that nice neutral spine. From there, we're gonna make sure our lats are engaged and we're gonna try and press the world away. So let's set it up from the bottom. Most of the people see a deadlift as a pulling exercise, but essentially the only thing that we'll be pulling will be your lats. The rest of the body is gonna be pushing through the ground. So we just wanna get nice and tight. We should hear the bar clink a little bit, so relax. The first thing we should do is get our lats tight and hear that bar clink so that we know we've got tension. Probably a bit too light for him. But we feel that tension. We take all that slack out of the bar. Essentially, we get as tight as we can. And now it becomes a hamstring and glute dominant movement where we're gonna push the world away. Okay, so we're gonna go through some common faults that we see with the deadlift. And the first one being the jerk rep. So we're gonna see Harry jerk the bar off the floor. You can see there, the, the reason why that was a bad rep was he didn't stay tight enough through the upper back and the midline, and he tried to jerk the bar off the floor using momentum. Now the reason why that's bad, let's just go to the bottom, is we can see that if he's not tight enough through here, the upper body's gonna stay down and the, upper, the lower body's gonna rise, putting so much tension through that lumbar spine. Now this is the most common reason why people get lower back pain when they deadlift, because they don't set up tight from the bottom and they don't activate the lats. So let's go down the bottom and show exactly how we should set up. Like we just talked about, the perfect setup would be armpits over the bar, tension in the hamstrings. He's gonna activate his lats and take some tension out of the bar. You should hear it clink if it's heavy enough. Now that there's tension in the bar, he can start to push the world away and feel everything stay nice and tight. The bar stays close to the shins, close to the thighs, and then extends up through the top. Fully locking out by squeezing the bum, keeping the lats engaged, and then squeezing the midline. So most people only think about the deadlift on the way up whereas a lot of the injuries actually occur on the way down as well on the eccentric component. So we need to make sure we know how to get the bar down safely so we can stay safe throughout the movement. So let's just do a perfect deadlift on the way up. We get tight, we push the world away, we extend, we finish. From here, the most common fault is people will start to push the bar in front of their body and go down like an elevator. So if we stop there, you probably don't want to stop there for too long, do you? Because it's quite uncomfortable. See how the bar is now in front of his body? This is a massive no-no. We want to make sure the bar is always directly below our chest. So let's stand back up. The first thing we have to do to make that happen is to drive the bum back. Put all that force production through the hamstrings and the posterior chain where we're the most strongest. We want to slide the bar down our body whilst keeping our bum pushed back until the bar is past our kneecaps. Once we get the bar past the kneecaps, then we can start to drop the bar and set up for that next rep, making sure the knees never travel too far in front of the elbows. Perfect, so the reason why people want to sort of let the knees travel forward is because it's more comfortable. It's more comfortable to sit there than what it is to sit there. However, deadlifting is not about being comfortable, it's about making sure you stay safe. So activate the hammies, activate the lats, push the world away, and then finish with a big hip hinge to keep that center of gravity above the barbell.